Hi guys, it is another just yuck, gray, chilly, gloomy, depressing, wish you were fucking dead day here in the end time and somewhere in some godforsaken hellhole at the end of another goddamn rutted out dirt road with no internet here in upstate New York where uh, I am winding down my, uh, my aborted misadventure to upstate New York here on this gloomy Thursday morning, Thursday morning, July 26, 2018, so lucky you guys, you get three depressed collapsitarian whines in a row, and this is, uh, this is my real, my real depressed collapsitarian whine of the week. Here on Thursday morning, I'm actually considering making a new YouTube channel, the Depressed Collapsitarian Chronicles. We will see if I can find the energy in my uh, quickly spiraling down to the shit level depression that I'm in. Find the energy to do that as my life just completely fucking unravels and I uh, and I welcome certainly the the biggest clinical grade suicidal depression that has enveloped me certainly in 2018 I'm trying to remember the last time uh, the last time I was at this Michael Rupert level of of uh, just just finding the strength to get up one more day and make another cup of coffee. And I would like to thank all of the <laughs> my alert uh, and and non-alert tribes members for their comments and thumbs down to my to my performance yesterday morning making that cup of coffee, uh, which. I don't know if there's five or six people on the planet who understood that uh, that performance yesterday, which had obviously, guys, had, had zero to do with a cup of coffee and very little to do with a match. The, uh, it, it just, it, so I, I need to explain something about performance art. The, the, the performance, the, the act, end of that uh, for lack of a better word and as I say performance artists are not actors but if you had to try to force that issue the act yesterday was demonstrating what it is going to look like uh, on this planet when we start to run out of fossil fuels it's what it's going to look like uh, the, these little vignettes from a James Howard Kunstler novel is each and every one of us when it starts to hit home uh, as, as global industrial civilization cracks up and begins to crumble. That was an example of what it's going to look like. As you saw in the video, there was a fucking coffee percolator and a microwave oven, which if I had started the camera earlier, I would have said, you would have heard me saying, you know, talking about my choices. Uh, and anyway, that gave me the idea for that performance. But what the performance was, and it was no acting, uh, was the face of depression of and, and that was and that was very real uh, what depression looks like what severe chronic 
depression uh, looks like, whether it's in the end times or anywhere else. And this is what depression looks like. As I sit here and suck down another cup of caffeine after my, what, three to four hours sleep that I got last night with my goddamn brain running. Took two fucking sleeping pills last night. Depression, it's, uh, it's, it's mood swings, it's rage, it's sleeping, appetite issues. So here I sit, here I sit, another fucking ham bone misadventure uh, going to shit right through my fingers once again as I prepare to tuck my tail between my legs and head back to Austin, Texas. Austin fucking Texas where I'm sure it's going to be a hundred degrees today in every fucking day till October. The balance of my summer, if not my life, uh, pretty much will be curled up in a fetal position in, in, in my bedroom, my little 8 by 10 foot bedroom uh, in, in goddamn Garfield, Texas with, uh, with the air conditioner blowing on me. That's going to be the rest of my summer. See if I can manifest that. As I take a long, hard look, as I analyze the, this whole fucking uh, latest little uh, descent into madness, the, the, this goddamn trip up here uh, to get out of the fucking heat, and uh, look around upstate New York and decide if this is where. If this is where I want to spend the rest of my miserable, fucking, pointless, futile existence on this planet. At least in the summertime. And, the, and I guess the answer is yes. Uh, before that little uh, God's banana peel uh, in the Catskill Mountains a few days ago, I did pretty much decide that is where I will end up. Uh, in two years, assuming I'm still alive in two years and this fucking uh, global industrial civilization is still lurching on, that will be the plan. But that does mean leave me two years two fucking years of, of, of just a, a black hole to deal with, trying to decide what the fuck uh, I, I, I'm going to do w with, uh, w with the rest of my summer and, and the next two years before I get out of Texas and I move up here and I figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of my fucking pointless, futile uh, existence that I call a goddamn life. I despise my fucking life uh, on every single level. If you were, if you could not see the the self-loathing, the rage against myself for what I have manifested on this long, strange trip in that in that coffee video yesterday, I don't know what it's going to take. The rage had nothing to do with a fucking match. It had to do with my fucking life. 
what I have managed to do with my fucking life since uh, I crawled down here into this goddamn sewer called the Doomosphere. I rue the fucking day that I ever heard of this place. I would like to kick fucking Terrence McKenna's ass for bringing me here. You know, if I if I had never met Terrence McKenna's ass, if I had never gone on fucking YouTube uh, ten and a half years ago, I would not be sitting here at the end of this fucking rutted out dirt road with my thumb up my ass talking to my little imaginary friends. Uh, out in cyberspace. I would be living in, in a beautiful home in uh, South Austin, Texas. I'd probably be getting a goddamn blowjob right about now from some good-looking woman in bed next to me before she got up and made me a cup of coffee and brought it to me in bed. It's probably what I'd be doing right now. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, so here I sit, the end of another rutted out dirt road in my gas sucking truck with my little dog. My little dog, why aren't you getting chippies? What's up? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, people. Let, let this be a lesson to you. How many times do I have to say it? What's the old song? Uh, that old Doc Watson sings that old song. Nail your shoes to the cabin floor. Bar the door and thank the Lord for the roof that's over you. Can't help but wonder where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Can't help but wonder where I'm bound. Yes, bound, tied, and... Ugh. I've been having the, uh, you know that song, that old Neil Young song. I think he wrote it when it was when he was about 20 years old. Neil was about 20 when he wrote Star of Bethlehem. I'm pretty sure the opening line to that old Neil Young song is, Ain't it hard when you wake up in the morning and find that those other days are gone? <laughs> Yes, Neil, those other days are gone. Mm. So here I am again, sinking deeper and deeper and deeper into this fucking black hole descending over me. Getting more and more jealous of Michael Rupert. Oh boy. Michael, Michael, Michael. What was it that finally brought Michael to uh, the, the only correct response to this? And... It, it was not the state of the planet. It was the state of Michael's mind that uh, finally got him to put a fucking gun in his mouth and blow his goddamn brains out. He had just had a fucking enough of this, this absolutely pointless, futile existence. He saw the dark. Michael saw the dark. I don't know, 
maybe you guys think I'm joking when you, when I tell you in, in, in all uh, truthfulness, with no irony, the, the one reason that, that I have not followed Michael Rupert uh, I into uh, as a, the only rational response to just feeling like this uh, is, is because uh, I don't want to be reincarnated as a sub-Saharan African in the 21st century, which if you're going to be reincarnated in the 21st century is you have a three in four chance of being reincarnated as a sub-Saharan African baby. Uh, and, and let me tell you, things got to get a little tougher on this planet before I'll, I'm willing to take that risk. As, I, as I've wanted to do pretty much every night for 40 fucking years, there, there, there was only one, one wish, one hope, like in Spanish, that the words wish and hope are the same word, <coughs> is that I simply go to fucking bed tonight. Uh, that I lay down, go to sleep, never fucking wake up again, and lights out for eternity. I have about as much desire to, to, to live uh, ever after in some fucking mythical afterlife as I do to be reincarnated back onto this shithole planet. And when I say shithole planet, I, I want to make sure you understand uh, that I don't, I'm not saying the planet is shithole. I'm saying what we motherfuckers did to it to turn it into a shithole planet. It, it is this wasted, ruined, just, uh, just fucking barren moonscape that we're turning this planet into as we hit Earth Overshoot Day in three days. We are so fucked day. I've, I've just had enough. I've, I've had enough of this freak show. Uh, I simply want out. But I realize uh, that that little ham bone pipe dream uh, is about is realistic. Uh, it, it, it is me going up there and visiting my buddies Vegematic and Treebeard in Canada. Uh, that, that some fucking uh, interdimensional border guard, uh, some little interdimensional fucking police state ain't going to let it happen. So I, I, I'm going to sit here and, and, and figure out what the fuck I, I, I'm going to do with the rest of my life. And what I'm going to do is go back uh, to goddamn Austin, Texas with my goddamn tail between my legs and, 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 and try to uh, establish some fucking grounding in my life. You know, at, le at least I've, I've got somewhat of, of a goddamn roof over my head. Uh, I've got a decent internet connection. Uh, I've got plenty of people in Austin, Texas, for some reason, who still love me and actually want me to come back. Uh, well, as I say, Sam Mitchell uh, has uh, has that group of friends. Uh, you know, so I'm going to go back and by some act of God, and, you know, I'll go back, first I gotta cut all this fucking hair off tomorrow, uh, cut my goddamn hair, uh, go back home, get a fucking roof over my head, a, a, a nice comfortable bed to sleep in, a secure internet, and I get some sort of goddamn job, uh, whether it's selling real estate to clueless morons, I'm... You know, I'm figuring that out with the Texas Real Estate Commission. I also need to get my application in to the U.S. Census Bureau. 
if you want to work for the U.S. Census Bureau, you need to have your application in by December 31st. So I need to uh, line that job up. I'll probably start off working for this outfit called Favor. It's kind of like Uber. It's like Uber package delivery. So uh, I will be filling up my gas sucking truck with uh, packages to deliver to clueless fucking morons all over Austin, Texas for the last fossil fuel leg of this package delivery from China to the hands of clueless morons for my $11 an hour plus tips. Get my five years of college working, get some goddamn money coming in and maybe if, if I have a fucking house and a job, maybe, just unbelievably maybe, I can actually get something crazy like a girlfriend. It, 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 get some goddamn female company back in my life. You know? Cut this shit with this gas-sucking truck. I'm so sick, fucking sick and tired of this, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of the rutted out uh, ends of dirt roads. And uh, it, it, it really pains me to say this, but I got to be honest with myself. I, I, I'm sick and tired uh, of, of reconnecting with Mother Nature uh, out in the middle of the fucking woods. There, there's nothing healing about it for me anymore. The, the, the thought of uh, th th this is why uh, I have spent about what about three nights camping in the year 2018. I got my fill of the shit the last three years. Uh, I I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. Being one with nature out in the woods, uh, all it makes me is bored, lonely, and, and wishing I had a fucking internet connection. Uh, you know, I mean, I love Mother Nature, and, and if I could find a woman uh, who also enjoys what I do, at, at that point, uh, maybe it would be enjoyable, although I'm, I know all she would be doing is fucking bitching about the goddamn mosquitoes, or not having anywhere to shit, or shower, or <coughs> having her own Facebook in smartphone connection. <sighs> Gee, it looks like it's starting to rain again. But anyway, uh, so this is what I'm up to. At least I don't have to pack the gas sucking truck because I'm not going to unpack it uh, before heading out. So I guess my four night maximum at Sandy's place runs out on Saturday morning. So, barring any, uh, and I, uh, Harley, canine brother, I, I ran the numbers and the numbers just ain't working out so, uh, and I really want to thank my other tribes members, my two tribes members from Michigan and, <coughs> and from Iowa for the invitation to stop by. But I will not be making a trip to Michigan, Minnesota, or Iowa because that's over 500 miles out of the way from upstate New York to Austin, Texas. I will be crossing the middle of Arkansas from one corner, so if we have any tribes members in the hills of Arkansas <clears throat> who uh, wants to ignore their mama's advice and have Sancho Panza and Hambone and Little Tail stop by for a short visit in the hills of Arkansas, 
I would uh, certainly like to hear from any tribes members in the hills of Arkansas. <clears throat> you can email me directly at humptydumptytribe at gmail.com. Otherwise, me and the little dog are heading back to Texas. And I guess I will be back. Uh, next week's depressed collapsitarian wine will be coming at you from Garfield, Texas. Although a hell of a lot. A hell of a lot. Could happen in my fucking worthless, miserable life between now and then. But I gotta wrap this up and, uh, Hambone Little Tail has to pass the baton over to Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles, where I'm uh, going to be interviewing, I think, uh, this fellow named Eric Vance. Eric Vance. A good guy who got the career that I was supposed to have. He, so uh, let me get ready for that. You can find that interview on Sunday over at Collapse Chronicles for this uh, latest edition of my depressed collapsitarian wine from New York. <clears throat> Smoke them if you got them. We all know why. Bye, guys.